within nature's teachings. <laughs> Again, this isn't my information, folks. That's the thing. People think that I'm trying to, you know, put out what I think. This has nothing to do with what I think at all. This is information that has existed for as long as the universe has existed. And we are only discoverers of it. That's it. We happen to discover how it works. And then we can convey the information about how it works. But this isn't, no, no one owns this information. This is information about how nature works, period. No one owns the law of gravity. People attribute that, you know, the scientist Isaac Newton may have discovered its workings and then quantified, you know, the, the law of how it actually uh, works as far as quantifying it. But um, that doesn't mean Newton, it's Newton's gravity. You know, that's an effect of the universe, period. It's a law that's in effect, period. So I want to make that distinction clear here for people that, you know, are in the state of mind where they hear something and think that it's, uh, this is this person's teachings. No, this isn't my teachings. I'm just a, a vehicle for it, of getting the word out about this because it's the most important information that we could ever know. And it is knowable. Nature didn't put unknowable laws into effect to torment us for eternity. These laws are knowable. And they're there for our betterment, not for our confinement. They're there because living in harmony with, this lo with these laws creates the most quality of life. That's why they're there. They're put there in the polarity of love. 